Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. All right, uh, if you guys haven't already, please uh, give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, please drop a comment, um, either good or bad, it doesn't matter. But let's just get to this P0034 code. We're gonna figure out what this is and try to help you guys fix this problem. Um, if you guys don't know already, guys probably have a check engine light on your dash and this code probably uh, was associated with the check engine light. But essentially, this code indicates a turbocharger supercharger bypass valve A control circuit low. Um, this essentially means the car's computer has detected a problem with the electrical circuit that controls the bypass valve on a turbocharged or turbocharged engine. Now, the bypass valve is crucial for releasing excess boost pressure when the throttle is closed, preventing damage. So let's go into this a little bit more. It could be a little bit confusing if you're not familiar with this, but the code P0034 essentially points to a low voltage condition in the control circuit for the turbocharger or supercharger bypass valve. So essentially when you accelerate and then quickly release the accelerator pedal the turbocharger or supercharger continues to build boost pressure the bypass valve also known as blow a blow off valve or diverter valve opens to release this excess pressure preventing it from damaging the turbocharger or engine now here's uh here's what could be causing your issue all right um, wiring and connector problems damage corroded or loose wiring and connection and connectors in the bypass valve um, circuit which is possible particularly if you know okay this is possible if you guys have a rat infestation in your area or you live in an area where there's little, little critters chewing up your lines and stuff like that that's possible or if you had your vehicle worked on recently and they had to take the harness off um, to get to some part and then they forgot to pop it on or they popped it on and just didn't snap it in all the way, those are the things that could cause that. You guys could have a faulty bypass valve. The bypass valve itself could be malfunctioning and if it's not too expensive, um, you guys probably should actually just change out that valve. Testing it is probably going to be um, more of a hassle than anything. You could have sensor issues, problem with the boost pressure sensor or other sensors that provide input to the car's computer. Uh, in these cases, you guys might want to just change out the sensor if it's not real hard to get to, if it's not too um, expensive. Guys could have uh, a vacuum line issues, leaks or damage in the vacuum lines to control the bypass valve. Now, I'll tell you guys this. All right. I'll tell you guys this. As far as vacuum line problems are concerned, you, if that is your problem, you guys should get a ton of other codes dealing with misfires and and that sort of thing. If you guys only have this code, it's probably not a vacuum leak. There's a possibility it could be a PCM issue. There's a good chance that it probably isn't. Now, here's how you guys know. If it's a PCM issue, there is a good chance that you guys would have like 12, 15 other codes that are unrelated to this. Um, it, and as far as symptoms are concerned, you guys could have reduced engine power. The car might feel sluggish or lack its usual, usual acceleration. You could have engine hesitation or stumbling. Um, you could have limp home mode. Um, in new vehicles, um, you know, if you guys don't know what that is, it's a it's a good possibility. And again, you guys will have the check engine light on your dash. All right, guys. So, um, if you guys have a comment on this, if you guys have a fix to this, leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know how you guys fix this issue. All right, it might help somebody else out. If you guys have further questions on this, definitely leave a question um, out there. Somebody might be able to answer it for you. In any case, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. Hope this video helped, helped you guys out, guys. Take care.